Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Yeah, it makes it easier in Ireland about two minutes ago. Wait a minute. Office laser printers are a health risk? You're kidding. Yes. I'm sitting right by. Yep. I'm sitting right by a laser printer. Won't work with Windows Vista, so is that is that good? Well, if you haven't used it over the last few months, I I use it, but not like I don't like. But here you here, here's the you want to record? Yeah, I'm good. We are. All right. Here's the deal. Um, a, a university out of uh, Queensland, Queensland University in Australia. They did a research study on how um, laser jet printers, once they once the toner goes through the process with the with transferring the toner to the paper with the you know the ozone and all this other stuff that's that that it produces, um, is worse than secondhand smoking. And they're saying that if someone sits around an office jet printer in the office or a laser jet printer rather in the office that's connected with 50 users and is running constantly for eight hours a day. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's really bad. Okay. And, and, and it's, and where I work, I work with seven Xerox DocuTech and DocuColor machines. And these are like 50 to 60 times larger than your home laser jet machine. I mean, these things are huge. And the, off, the space is very, it's tight and and uh, no you know, ventilation. We, we have we have air conditioning. We have windows. We open that stuff up. But um, the amount of ozone that's created on a, on on a regular basis, um, in the on a, on a daily basis in the office is eight times that recommended by OSHA. Um, also, we never knew this to be honest. My coworkers and I had no idea. We were told by the company, and I can't name any names. We were told that everything was, you know, fine and dandy. You know, it's no problem. That they've switched over to uh, more or more uh, green toner, an organic type, um, but still some of our other products that we leased are not green. And uh, you know, being in front of this stuff for six years makes you think, geez, has it affected my health? And and it may have. That's why I've been going for certain types of tests and stuff to just to kind of rule things out to make sure that in ten years I'm not going to be sitting with an oxygen tank on my hip. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, these are the things that um, people kind of forget that, you know, using, using chemicals, especially in the print industry, um, everyone thinks things are safe and they're, they may be not as safe as everyone once thought. You know, even, uh, even some of the, the inkjet, I mean, uh, getting, getting it in your skin, it absorbs into your skin, goes into your body, and then it's in your blood, and that's... Know, flowing throughout your body. You so hear this, babe? People just be aware that when when you are when you are even on your home laser jet, just be aware that when you do take the cartridge out, there are particles in the air. When you are when you are printing, it's creating uh, airborne particles. Um, if you if you let's say where yours is, Chris, um, right put try and move it where where the the exhaust is facing away from you. Yeah. Because a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll have the office printer on their desk right next to them, and the exhaust is blowing in their face. Ponzi's laughing. So <laughs> she's laughing. Yeah. It's it's really Ponzi. Read the article. You'll you'll be amazed. They've done. They they tested over sixty machines. Now are these consumer yeah, class they're, they're machines? Like, like, are they like large machines like that you work around? The, no, these are these are these are. These are machines that you can use in your office, um, like you could hook 50 users up via an Ethernet jack. And these are also home consumer machines. These are just us printing. Like HP. But they all use the same toner, right? It's like a, a fine toner. Well, no, here, here's here's the thing. Uh, here's the thing, Alan. Alan, we we don't know. A lot of people don't know where where the toner is being created. Where they're creating the toner. The toner could be created somewhere in China or some world where the the laws don't apply to them. And then when it's shipped to the United okay. States, they just put the toner in the cartridges and ship it out. Yeah. So, you know, you don't know what's in the toner. But it, it, even, it doesn't matter what's in the toner when it's being turned into fine particulate matter and you're breathing it in and it clogs up your... It clogs oxygen. up your, your lungs, basically. It, 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 it makes them less able to absorb the oxygen. Exactly.
Exactly. Now listen to what Data Lord just pasted in chat. It says desktop laser printers are often placed alongside a personal computer and are then close to the operator's face. If they're in a confined space and used at high copy output throughout the day, the ozone concentration reaching the operator may be significant. Yeah. Yeah, but like, so, yes. what if you just print like I, I print maybe a couple pages a day? I mean, am I really going to be at no, risk? Well, that, that's, no, that's, I think you wouldn't be at risk. Ten, ten yeah. pages a day, that, that, that's, they would probably call that like a sub, that would be below the, the allowed no exposure. Okay. You, you'd be fine. You'd be in the clear. Well, um, Ponzi's, Ponzi's, let's, Ponzi's laughing because I just, uh, she just installed the new asbestos toner and so she says she's safe. <laughs> <laughs> when... Make sure that life insurance is up to date, Pondy. When when you when when you're you know working in an office with fifty people and you're the lucky the lucky ma you know male or female that gets uh, your desk next to okay, the company's uh, laser printer, you know, and and the thing's going for eight to nine hours a day, um, you're going to be exposed to that to that uh, that odor. And it's it's not a nice odor. It's actually making me sick to my stomach just thinking about the smell. Wow! Because if you work in an environment like I do, it's just so overwhelming. Ah. Oh. What about ventilation and stuff like that? Like our temperature monitors, well, right? They, they, and stuff they, like that. You know? Well, our, 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 the temperature and the environment that we have now, the temperature is usually between sixty-five and seventy degrees. And the reason why it's, it's set at that is because having all those machines in that in that close of a proximity will the, the the heat the BTUs will will raise the uh, temperature in the room so high that the machines will cease to function you'll have paper jams paper will start to stick together um, the heat rollers would heat up so much where it would just it, they would cease to function basically. PC load letter constantly. so you need yeah PC load letter uh, office space um, yeah, so it's it's just it's just one of those things. Like the, the the I was just about to slip and say the name of the company, but the um, the company that we deal with sells they do sell exhaust systems. Um, I've been talking about purchasing them for years now, but there is issues that I've been running into. Wow. So, but uh, like the building would have to be yeah, it basically, basically you would have to you would have to rip ceiling tiles down and you'd have to route duct work to each machine and then have an central exhaust, you know, but... Uh, cheaper, than, cheaper than 10 or 20 lawsuits against the company in five years. Yeah, time. basically. So right now that's what I'm dealing with. But uh, when I read this article, um, this article was July 31st off, mm -hmm. of the BB, off of the BBC News, I just left. I was like, you know what, when were they going to say something? Wow. You know, when when are when are when are companies going to start fessing up, saying that you know the, the products that we are using are unsafe? Wow. And we are working to make a better product. And going green for printers is the way to go. Using some type of organic. Uh, you know, they'll never owner. come forward. They'll never come forward until someone dies, and it's it can be directly traced back exactly. to. Yeah. You know, but it's so hard nowadays to trace this type of. Yeah, and what I've been talking, from what I've been talking with doctors, and doctors have been saying this. They've been saying that you know what, this is you can say that you having these symptoms can be where you live, can be the city where you live because of pollution, because of um, because of you know whatever car exhaust, whatever. They also say that if you live in a multiple dwelling, you could have these symptoms. So it's 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 just like. It's in this. It's a big, huge question mark. But you know that you work in this environment, and this environment can cause health problems down the road. I know other people that work in, let's say, um, New York Times. Okay, a lot of the print operators have black lung. Wow. You know, and you would think of black lung being in the coal mining industry. No, but it's from the toner. It's from the ink. It's from the paper, and that. Is da it's damaging, and 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 I'm not saying that your home, by any means, I'm not saying that you know don't buy a laser jet, don't buy any of these products. These products are great products. Just be aware that you may want to move it 
like a few feet away from your desk and don't have it directly on top of you. Well, I, that's I, the point. Yeah, exactly. I'd, I'd consider. Uh, in fact, I'm going to email a few people I know at HP to ask about that since I've, I use HP uh, laser jets. Um, the uh, I'd be curious to know what kind of green, if they do use green toner, quote unquote green, um, environmentally friendly toner in their products. I'm very interested in finding yeah. out. Hmm. I mean, because it, it's it's uh, and even if they do use environmentally green toner uh, and it's health safe, um, you know, there the parts per million in the air, the amount of particles that are in the air over time, you're going to get that in your lungs. So, it's, you know, it, it, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying it's worse than smoking a pack a day of cigarettes or whatever, but it's just, it's just something to think about. You know, it's another worry in, the, in, in, in life to be like, oh, you know, now I have to move my laser jet into another room, you know, or put it near the window, basically. Well, have you, uh, you, you, have you heard the back about the results from your, uh, your tests? Um, that was this. That was this morning. Okay. So I'll find out. They're they're leaning towards something that. Um, I could talk to you about it in private, but I'd rather not. Yeah, that's fine. But well, no, I appreciate you. It's but it. I appreciate you sharing as much as you it, did. It, I didn't even know this. This was even an issue. I'm sure most people out there oh, didn't really? realize it was an issue. No, I mean you 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 wouldn't think that even even if you have like a laser fax machine, um, just. I mean, you know, and if you're if you're pumping if you're pumping out even if you're 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 like like yourself if you were pumping out five six hundred sheets a day, right? You threw your laser jet. I mean, you're you're putting yourself at risk. I would say that that five hundred sheets a day from something like uh, out of your machine in that that type of environment. I mean, you. I I think I know that your office is pretty big. It's it's open, but even if you're on top of it, you're still gonna inhale those particles and the fumes and the pa and not so much the paper dust.